Have you ever thought about peace fingers? Peace fingers are interesting. The sign looks simplistic, I concede. Two representing what seven billion need. But if two can't work it out, how can billions? Agreed? Should be easy. One, two. This is me. This is you. Of course, I'm a little taller and you're a little less. So we stroke our pride, still flashing our sign of political correctness. Competition drives our culture. V is for virtue. It's also for vulture. Batman v Superman, fallen heroes in a fight. Peace is our pursuit, but selfishness our kryptonite. We like to pretend it's all good, we're all one, but plenty seek peace through the sights of a gun. And it's not just with weapons, with words we attack. I'll flatter to your face, but on Facebook, stab your back. We practice lies and sarcastic replies, tweeting our online smack. But say we scrapped all the violence, say we shifted our reliance to settling our meddling with paper, scissors, rock. Still peace wouldn't come till I cut you down or you crushed me like a block. Oh, where can we find some peace? Elvis said in the valley, Pan said in the sky, second star to the right and straight till morning we fly. But it's never, never, never land. Kind of like Dorothy's rainbow band. If happy little bluebirds fly, then why, oh why, is that witch riding towards my house on a bike? Why when I look for peace do I see only strife? Not just out there, but in my own life. Storms raging in my brain. I need a little help to escape the pain. Oh, where can I find some peace? Maybe in the land of Israel, where the sons of Isaac and Ishmael stand poised for war? I've stood before on the Temple Mount, the most contested piece of land fought over by sons of Abraham. There the crowds on Mount Moriah heard the teachings of Messiah in the temple courts. But now the temple's gone. The dome of the rock stands to mock, claiming God never had a son. Oh, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Maybe two is too ambitious a number for peace. Maybe only one can make our turmoil cease. And if I want peace to win, then I must decrease and live for the one who lived for the least, Jesus Christ, God's only begotten son. You take away that option for peace, you have none. Luke 2 tells of a babe that was born. Luke 2, 3, 4, 5 of a veil that was torn. Our Father has made the provision. By His Son, He's undone the wall of division on the very same mount where the dome now stands. But that mount plus the earth is in God's hands. We wanted formulas. He gave two commands. Love God with all your heart. And here's the second part. Love your neighbor too. It's the second person point of view. You have my attention. Consider it prevention. Contention is settled before we begin. You win. And that's how peace defeats the fight till the prince comes again and makes all things right. Through you and me will love increase for we are one body committed to peace.